Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland here in sunny Miami, Florida for Metro Connect USA 2022. Joining me today, we have Brian Wheeler. He is the North American Sales Director for Infrasight Solutions. And we have Marcella Torres. She is the COO and co-founder of Infrasight Solutions. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Glad to be here. What a great conference, right? Yeah, it's a lot of fun, a lot of energy. Everybody loves the in-person events again. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Brian, tell us about Infrasight Solutions and what you do. Certainly. So, we provide infrastructure um, opportunities. The one we're working on right now is actually a smart vault. So, these are enclosures that go below grade. Uh, they are watertight. We have three levels of water intrusion protection. Uh, they're climate controlled. So, it creates a lot of opportunities for uh, different providers, uh, solutions to be do edge computing underground, to be able to do 5G, things that really before just weren't possible. Wonderful, wonderful. So tell us what you have planned for 2022 or any recent news that you can share with us today. Certainly. Well, for those that have heard of Infrasight before, they know we're still kind of uh, in the startup stage. So we've been beta testing the last few years. We're excited to announce we're getting into installation phase. So we have our first few deployments this year. We have Actually, one that headed off to Columbia. We've got two heading to New Jersey for AT&T. And then we've got a new client in Indianapolis, which we're really excited about. So this particular project is going to be unique. But I also think it's going to set kind of the trend for like uh, these boxes being on the edge of sexy almost, right? So they, uh, the box is going to go in on the other side of the Colt Stadium uh, right across the street. The Indianapolis is bringing in their what they call their cultural trail around there. So they don't have place for above ground enclosures any longer. So they needed a unique solution, which Infrasight provided. We're actually going to be putting the box underground in the cultural trail. There'll be pavers on top of it. So it'll be come up out of the ground. You'll be able to service the box. It'll go right back down and it'll disappear. Good news for Colts fans, too. Good news for Colts <laughs> fans, right? So it's. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're, we're hoping we can even get some opportunities just to race the box up and down during, during the game, just, just for the wow factor. Maybe we'll add a fog machine. You know, I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> well, that's so exciting. Congratulations on that. And, and we'll follow those developments as well. Marcella, here at Metro Connect, lots of industry buzz, a lot of hot topics going on. What industry trends are you watching and following that you can share with us? So we're definitely following Edge. You know, and uh, basically the connectivity and, and the pandemic just brought that topic much more, you know, to the surface of we need to place this e everywhere. Connectivity has to happen everywhere. And uh, definitely having everybody here and putting all these minds together, how we can get there faster, right? So it's time for everybody to play ball together and, uh, you know, accept the, the newbies, the startups. And, um, and and getting the technology out there as fast as possible. So I think that's predominantly what what you know what, what we're here to do: enable the technology yeah. to get there faster. You know, we were just sitting in a presentation downstairs, and they were talking about how we're getting to this uh, densification, right, of networks, but also decentralization of them. Uh, and I think one of the things that Mark said was that they anticipate that at every tower. Um, if for every 20 towers, I think it was actually, that there would be a new smaller data center at the base of that. And we think that's a place Infrasight is uniquely situated to do, right? He actually didn't go so far as to call it a vault, but he said it was a structure or an enclosure underground potentially. And I think that's exactly what, what we're going to be able to do. So we can read between the lines. We can vault. read between the lines. We're excited, yeah. <laughs> Marcella, where can our viewers go to learn more about Infrasight Solutions? Definitely follow us on LinkedIn, social media, uh, infrasight.com. There's a lot of information there from our technology standpoint. Um, so infrasight.com. Wonderful. Well, we'll be watching for sure and follow along with you on the recent news and developments. Thank you for joining us no, here on JSA TV. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.